Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today in this video, I am going to show you the use of pseudo classes and pseudo elements. On your screen, at the left hand side, you are able to see a paragraph and at the right hand side, you are able to see a code for that paragraph written in p tag of HTML, which is a paragraph tag. So let's see what is CSS pseudo classes first. In order to see the use of CSS pseudo classes, we have to target the paragraph. Then remember one thing that we have to use single colon to use pseudo classes. So for our example, let's say we are using hover pseudo class. Inside that we have to write some property to see the effect. So in my case, uh, uh, I'm writing red color here. Now, whenever user enters their mouse cursor on top of this paragraph, the paragraph will change its color to red. Let me move my mouse cursor to this paragraph. Yes, and this got changed to red color. So this is CSS pseudo class. Likewise, there are pseudo classes like hover, link, active, focus, and visited. These classes can be used with links, buttons, and other form fields as well. So this is what CSS pseudo class is and it has to return with the single say, colon. Likewise, let's see the use of pseudo elements. Remember one thing that when using CSS pseudo elements, we have to give double colon. You should not be writing single colon because although the browser is smart enough to recognize that you have used pseudo elements and not the class, and you did a mistake of writing CSS pseudo elements with only single column. The browser detects it and automatically fix it, but that does not mean that you should be doing this mistake. So remember to write a clean code by writing double columns for CSS pseudo elements and single columns for CSS pseudo classes. So here we are able to see the use of CSS pseudo elements. That's why we are going to write double columns. And let's say, uh, I'm writing a CSS pseudo element here before element. So before CSS pseudo elements is used to prefix something or some text or some elements before our selector. So our selector or the element is paragraph so, and we are writing before CSS pseudo element. So let's write something in order to see the effect. So content is a property that I can use here to see how it works and say I'm writing star as a bullet point here and if I run this the star text is appended before the paragraph and that's why we have used before CSS pseudo elements to do this likewise you can do after CSS pseudo element like this and the star got appended at the last let me give the space here so you will be able to see it better there. yes so this got appended likewise you can append your text you can have the width and height and border colors background margin padding whichever css property you want to do that you can apply to css after before these kind of css pseudo elements because the name itself is saying that it is CSS pseudo element and with element you can apply the, all these properties but with classes you cannot apply these properties to an element because in the DOM which is document object model whenever you use CSS pseudo elements the actual element can be seen with the help of inspect element. So we just saw after and before CSS pseudo elements. Let's see some other CSS pseudo elements like let's see selection. So selection is something that works whenever you want to copy the element or the text and in that case what it does is whichever section you copied it highlights it with the color which you have given. So let's see. I have given red color for the selection so until and unless we don't select it it will not get applied so let me select some text in order to copy it 
so whenever i selected this the selection getting applied so the selected text has red color so this is how we can use the css pseudo element and the pseudo element we just used is selection likewise there are other css pseudo elements like first letter or first line let's see that as well so this is first line css pseudo element for which whichever first line you are able to see on your screen that will be turned to red in this case since we have written red color property likewise first letter is also a css pseudo element which will turn your very first letter of very first line to red color in this case since we have given red color property you can give any property so in this case the t character got highlighted in red color since we have used first letter css pseudo element so this is what css pseudo element is and we have also seen what how css pseudo classes work so i hope you have learned something new today if you like this video click on like button if you want more videos like this you should subscribe to my channel and for notifications of upcoming videos you have to click on bell icon which is right beside subscribe button in order to get the upcoming videos so thank you guys share this video with your friends so they can also get the knowledge